Good morning, West Hall. I'm John Rivett. And I'm Michael Booker. It's Tuesday, February 4th, and this is your Spartan News. Anyone that purchased a Special Olympics partner shirt, please wear it tomorrow for a yearbook picture during sea lunch in the gym. Prom will be held on Saturday, April 25th. Prom tickets are on sale right now. Tickets are $45 per person and $90 per couple. Ticket prices will increase $5 per person per month, so be sure to get yours early. If you are bringing a guest that isn't a West Hall student, you need an approval form. What are your plans for the next two to three years? Developing virtual reality software? Designing the next Star Wars droid? Maybe hiring chefs for your very own restaurant? I know my answer, and I know where high school students can find theirs. Work-based learning. Work-based learning provides students with structured work experiences connected with their career objectives and CTA coursework. The perfect way for you to prepare for college, a career, and today's workforce. In this program, students leave school and go to work. Work-based learning is selective. You've got to fill out an application and meet the requirements to be accepted. Work-based learning students collectively earned over $700,000. That's enough money to start a business, own a home and car, travel the world, and pay for a college education. So why would you want to enroll in work-based learning? It's simple. To have a focused preparation for college careers in today's workforce, gain marketable skills, build your resume, network with professionals, and best of all, you can say you did this in high school getting classroom credit while working and making money at the same time. Ask a school counselor about work-based learning and apply today. Cap and gown pictures for the class of 2020 will be held on February 19th in the sunroom. Sign up for a time slot on Miss Nolan's door. Hi, I'm Sydney Hunt. And I'm Melina Appling. And we're for Troop 4589 and we invite you to see our production of Still Magnolias. It will be February 21st at 7, February 22nd at 7, and February 23rd at 2. We invite you to join us on this emotional yet comical experience. We hope to see you there. Hello, my name is Jake Kleinheinz. And I'm Jacob Gall. And we're inviting everyone in the school to come audition for our spring musical, Wizard of Oz. So audition dates are the 12th and 13th of February in the theater during lunches. The dance auditions will be held after school on February 14th in the theater. Come pick up an audition packet from Ms. Ryder in the theater. Thank you. February is Career Tech Month. CTA delivers real-world workforce skills to students over, all over the country. Here at West Hall, we offer audio, video, tech, and film, graphic arts, construction, marketing, healthcare, and work-based learning. Did you know that more than $912,000, which is an amazing amount, was awarded to career tech students to, for college and tech school scholarships last year? Do you, see your counselor or any CTA teacher for more information about career tech. Sophomores, are you interested in movies and cinema history? Next year, West Hall will be offering IB film as an elective. You do not have to be an IB student to take IB film. This class is being taught by Miss Lowe and Mr. Reed. For more information, please see Miss Jackson, Miss Lowe, or Mr. Reed. This is Black History Month. During February, we honor the contributions of African Americans to United States history. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the bar in 1854 in Ohio. When he was elected to the post of town clerk in Brownhelm, Ohio in 1855, Langston became one of the first African Americans ever elected to public office in America. John Mercer Langston was also the great uncle of Langston Hughes, famed poet of the Harlem Renaissance. The wrestling team has qualified seven guys and three girls for the sectional tournament in Perry, Georgia this weekend. The wrestlers that qualified for the boys' division include Brian Armstrong, Andrew Calderon, Andrew Newman, Jonathan Rivett, Tristan Campoloni, Daniel Moya, and David Beverly. The girls' division includes Alma Mata, Abby Escobar, and Maylee Lau. They will leave for Perry, Georgia on Friday morning. Be sure to congratulate them if you see them. Spartans, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, and we have recently made a TikTok. So go add the username WHHS underscore SNN. That's all for today's announcements. Now please stand for the moment of silence and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Teachers, now it's a good time to check if your students are dressed for success.
Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge an allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.